the size of that. It's like desperate, Dan. I'm from the Flintstones. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've ever had. Do you do Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Nicola. And today we are trying a tomahawk steak for the first time in Austin, Texas. I'm so excited. So, I've seen these on the TV before and they look huge. I, they do. I can't wait. And we've come to a rather fancy establishment, haven't we? We have, which we're severely underdressed for. Yeah, I, I had a, a pretty frock I was going to wear and everything. And then we've managed to come out looking anyway. Anyway. Slightly dishevelled. A lot dishevelled. <laughs> so, they brought out warm bread. Sourdough warm bread. For us to start. Some amazing looking butter. And who butter. does not love bread? Yes. Warm bread. Oh. Yes. So, oh. let me try a piece of that. You try that. And I'm going to try oh. the butter. Oh. That oh. is... That is good. Superb. Let me... Let's see how this butter tastes. This bread already feels crispy. Yes. Mmm. 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 And it's a soury, but not too sourdough. Is there something in the butter or is it I just don't know. plain? Is I've got two different ones. Ah, well, right. I don't okay. know I looked what at they yours are. and thought there was something in it. Mmm. It's got tomato in it. Is it? Like a mm. sun dried tomato flavour to it. Ah, right, okay. Mm. I, that. Mm. I could live on warm bread, warm, fresh baked bread. I just live on that. Problem being is, <laughs> yeah. we're getting the biggest steak I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. So really, we shouldn't be filling up on bread. No, but it's so hard to leave it. Yes. Isn't it? And mm. we can always get to go boxes. We don't have to eat it all. Okay, it's a good point. <laughs> Very good point. So. Seen as this is going to be one of the most expensive meals we have ever had. Yes. We're going all out. We are. We are. So sorry if you're waiting for the, the tomahawk because it's coming. It's coming. Yes, it is coming. But just not quite yet. It's taking two of them to carry it into yeah. the kitchen to cook it, I believe. And I got the salad with these things. Oh, ooh. You've got to try them. They come with the meal. Mm. So I got a salad and it has. It's got a vinaigrette on. It looks really nice, actually. What salad did I get? Uh, Let me tell you what salad I, it is. I got a Caesar salad. I did not get the Caesar salad. I got the Fleming salad. I got walnut tomatoes, dried cranberries, red onions, lemon balsamic vinaigrette. Well, mine has Ooh. bacon, mm. capers, cheese, and Caesar mm. sauce. And I will move that for you. That, sorry. Is it good? That is delicious. It's very lemony. But I like lemon. It's weird because I don't like vinegar. Yeah, I love mm. lemon and citrus. Huh. Oh, I keep dropping these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Got some cranberry in there, yeah, some onion. Excuse our humour. Mm. Would you like to try mine? Mm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes Caesar salad can be a bit over creamy. That's it can be kind of claggy. Yeah, that, that's the that no word. Claggy. It, Full of cream and just yeah. like so heavy. Mm. Not not. Mm. Really good, Daniel. Mm. So, is this, you know what I like about a salad? I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> that wasn't really a question, no, was it? That it was, was a statement. statement. <laughs> it was. You know what I like about it. I like the difference in textures. I like a bit of crunch in there, a little chewy, a little crispiness of the lettuce and the salad. I like a combination of textures. I think that's what makes a good salad. Makes a good salad. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I am savouring every mouthful of this. Okay, you enjoy your... Because usually we're at Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Usually I'm at Wendy's. Today we're having Tomahawk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From one extreme to the other. Last night we were at Waffle House. You don't, you don't have to tell a girl a good time, don't you? Right? Yes, indeed. You're showing me the eyes of the highs. And this is a, a croutron. Yes. I never know whether you're supposed to pick those up or just take a bite out of them or cut them. Am I supposed to cut it with my knife and fork? I think you're supposed Sorry. to crumble it. There we go. <laughs> I think you can do with it as you wish. Okay. But I like to crumble it on the salad. Good point. 
again, I've told you, it's all about texture for a salad. Mm. Certain things mm -mm, don't like texture. Salads, love them. That's fresh. It just mm. tastes fresh. Mm. What are the walnuts like? I like a good walnut. Can I choose to yeah. steal one of those? Yeah, they're really nice. Mmm, they, they are, aren't they? They're, they're not really overly good. crunchy, they're just... Mm. I mean, it just feels like a really nice texture of a, a walnut. they got some, like, cinnamon sugar on them or something. They like mm. a cinnamon sugar flavour to it. I think so. But mm. we're all still waiting to see you eat one of those tomatoes. You'll all be waiting a long time. <laughs> Carry on waiting. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> and the service, I, I didn't have to eat all of it, <clears throat> so guess what? They, mm. out. Do you know, I'm thinking, if the salad is this good, how good is the tomahawk going to be? I'm hoping really good. I think it's going to be really good. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a cowboy like cartoon thing, isn't it? A big yeah. steak, but uh, hold it with your hand. And I can oh. beat you over the head with it. Well, yeah, there's every <laughs> chance of that. No, I don't condone violence, so we'll not do that. Oh my word. This looks amazing. Look at the size. I can't Look. believe that's the two of us. I think these plates are super duper hot. Yes, aren't be they? careful because so it is hot. But I'm going in for a piece of steak and we got it. Look at the size of See, that the just bone. Looks, that looks, oh, so look, it, it's kind of medium, more medium rare as you go through. Because ah. that's a more of a rare and this is more well done. Give me and that I, piece, of, I'll eat that piece of it. I prefer yeah. a, a more rare steak. Okay. So I am going to try this without the sides. So. Besides, <laughs> yes, let's try it without on its own. Mm. So. Mm. 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 <laughs> All mm. I can hear is mmm. Mm. Right. Actually, this that, piece isn't as badly that well done. That is delicious. That just melts in your <laughs> mouth, doesn't it? I think that should be the same frosting. Mm. It melts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the strap line. Come to Austin. It, it melts, melts in your, your mouth. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but the meat does. And it's so well That is so tender. So seasoned. Yeah. So tasty. That is so tender. And it's mm. not it's not over seasoned, so all you can taste mm. is salt or butter. It's you mm. can taste the meat all the way through, can you? Mm -hmm. It's like a char. Mm. It's like they charred the top of it, haven't they? Mm been sealed in that taste and then it's so juicy how juicy it is wow I I, do we have to eat the sides i don't know we should really shouldn't we mm -hmm. all right so we got some dolphin wah is that how you say it mm -hmm. style potatoes which is sliced potatoes with a, a cream and cheese it's layers layer it's layers and layers of thinly go, sliced oh wow you go, sweetheart Thank you. you. Dive into that. You got some more? Nope. Because I am going to try the mac and cheese. Would you like to try some of this mac and cheese? Absolutely. Yes. And this is just a plain old mac and cheese with nothing inside. I don't even think it'd be plain old. It's got breadcrumbs on the top. Which one first? I was going mac and cheese first. Okay. I'll go that with you. Oh. It's, it's kind of firm. Oh. Well, I, I pick, got to pick it up. That mac and cheese is absolutely phenomenal. It is amazing. It is so creamy yeah not remote it's not very cheesy though is it it's a little cheesy it but has. not just like a very slight mm. which to me is perfect because i don't want it too cheesy and the pasta is al dente yeah so it's but it's really mm. really good i've got another big spoonful of that mm -hmm. but i feel like i need to try, I try the potatoes try try the potatoes the dauphin noir oh yes dauphin noir Okay. Potato. And this had, I think it had, it's got cheese in it, hasn't it? Yeah, and it's cream. got like a cheese layer on the top. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. Wow. And that is really good. He said it has jalapeno. Not mm. inside it, but like a, a hint of jalapenos in there. Just to give mm. it a little bit of heat. I'm not sensing that, but it's still very, tiny, very nice. Maybe a little bit. Mm. I can taste a little tiny bit of it, but it is delicious. Mm. It so, is. which one though? 
the mac and cheese or the, the potatoes? Which one's the best? Well, I thought the mac and cheese was the best until yeah. I tried potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so it all depends which mouthful you're having at that yeah, time. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I think get it. I actually really like mac and cheese. Mm. Which one's your? Which one do you? Would you go for? I think the mac and cheese might just taste it. Take it. Taste it. Taste it. And take it. I think it might just beat it only I slightly. Think so. And you know we've got some butters here. Yeah. So you want another piece of steak? You want this one? Mm -hmm. No. Yep. Yeah, is that no? <laughs> no. Or do you want this one? This one's slightly rarer. One. No, this one's got more fat on it. So. I feel like it can be pernickety. Yeah, we, there's so much of it. We have plenty. This is the most expensive steak and meal I've probably ever had. I've got two num first today. You have? I, I queued. Oh, I got in a line for three hours for food. I've never done yeah. that before in my life. No, and didn't complain, which again, quite unusual. Yeah, <laughs> usually 15 minutes and I'm complaining like anybody. 15. Okay, five. Yeah. I don't understand getting in a line for food. I don't understand that. And then second, I've eaten the tomahawk steak. Yes. Which is, well, this is a first for me. Well, second for me. This is the most expensive meal and the largest steak I've ever had. Yes, yes. Can we pass, can you pass me some butter, please? It's so, a Bernays, I'm going to try that first, Try the Bernays please. first, okay. I'm going to try the... It's got like a... Um, chili pepper one. It's got, oh, what's this stuff here? Oh, it's like, it's butter. Yeah, but it's like melted, like there's oil in there. Because the butter solidified, and then there's oil. Mmm. I've, wow. gone, I've gone for the chili pepper one. That Bernays butter, delicious on that. Look at the butter on that. I didn't think you could improve the steak. But the oh, butter wow. really... That one is amazing. So is that one. Is it? Yeah, let's do a switch. I'll do a swap. Oh, I I'm not know. sure you'll like that so much because it's kind of... Is it? Is it really... Mm. Has it got lots of heat to it? No. Oh. It's so why do you not think I like it? What is it? It's more like a Tabasco chili style. Okay. Taste. No, only joking. <laughs> it's nice. You like that? It tastes like um Chipotle. Yes, that's sort of like a bit fancier than that, though. I think. <laughs> yeah. So excuse me. Uh, your Chipotle butter. That Bernays one is really good. That is definitely my my favourite butter of the two. Wow. It's really good. No, really. I didn't realise it could improve the steak so much just no. adding that bit of butter on there. That. Oh, that's so rich, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I kind of lost for words. Look at the size of that. The size of the bone. <laughs> Shh. Behave yourself, man. Look at the size of that. It's like desperate, damn. I'm from the Flintstones. <laughs> You're right. I think I'm getting into a food craze. Mm. Delirious. This, I am delirious from all this good food that I've had in Austin, which have not disappointed. No. Mm. Austin's fun, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So much fun. It's just a shame we've not a great deal of time here, but. But you know what we're going to do next mm. is try desserts because we've also got desserts. Mm, we like dessert. Who doesn't like dessert? Everybody likes it. Oh, and dessert! They have arrived. Has arrived. Wow. So what do we get? We got the um, chocolate lob cake. Yes. And you got bananas foster bread pudding. Wow. What? Now, after us trying bananas foster in New Orleans, the, you had idea, to go in. the idea of it in bread pudding sounded great. So. Oh. I don't know where to start. You go first. And then it, if it's a proper lava cake, it should just pour out. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at all of that trickling out. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Mmm. 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 That is so light. That looks ridiculous. It's good. light. Try some. It's that light and fluffy. A, that looks really good. I don't know where I'm putting all this it's food. Just, I don't know it's where it's going. It's just dribbling out slowly. Uh -huh. um, mm. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm just going to go without the ice cream. Uh. It's like air. It's like eating air. Chocolate flavoured air. Isn't it? Oh, my what? word. How do you make a dessert this light? 
That is just like air with liquid chocolate yeah. in it. Oh, that is amazing. That is so good. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of want yours now. <laughs> right. I had a little bit of a change of heart though, didn't I? Yes. So here we go. I wasn't go. getting this originally. This is Bananas Foster Bread Pudding. Oh. Mm. Can I try yours? Mm. Mm. I wasn't actually getting this though, was I, this chocolate no. cake? This was a last minute change. Mm. I am known for doing that. Okay. <laughs> How good is that as well? Wow. Mm. This is just like the perfect mm. end to a meal. We've perfect had the, meal. We had the world's perfect. most expensive and large. It was well worth it though. Some hot Worth steak. every yes. penny. Oh, now mm. I think I want yours. And this has a really light banana -y taste to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Banana, not uh, not overly banana, is it? No, no. But it's really and not li like any bread pudding I've ever had either. No, because it's kind of light but spongy at the same time. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like um, a massive pancake. Yes. That's yeah. the texture of it. It's like yeah. a pancake texture. It's not like a bread, like the bread puddings that we've had in other places. I'm going to try one of these caramelized bananas. Mm with a piece of that. There it's we go. Like a, it's got like maple syrup on the top of it, hasn't it? Mmm. There's some banana. Mm. It's got like no. a creme brulee sugary mm -mm. finish to it. Um, when we went to New Orleans, yes. that's how I was expecting yes. the bananas foster to I, be. I, I that's agree. Exactly, when I was trying to describe it, that is what the taste yeah. I was expecting. It's like a crispy uh, sugary yeah. layer on the outside. Yeah. Yeah, that, and that was not what we had. No, but that was yeah. exactly what we had. Yeah, that was exactly what I was looking for. Anyway. On that, we better finish these. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If and if like you want to watch any more, sorry, took the words out of your mouth. Okay. Any more videos watching <laughs> more, yeah. If you'd like to watch us, I'm in a sugar haze. If you'd like to watch us eat more desserts, you can watch them right around here.